We have a lot of underclassmen coming up, a uh, couple seniors, a couple juniors, but mostly sophomore and freshmen. So hopefully next, over the next couple of years, we'll really develop those swimmers and have a pretty good size uh, upper class team. This year has been really different and they've split us up into three groups and there's a varsity, a JV and the, a development team because we're so big and we only have eight lanes that we have to be put into different teams um, and so you had to make a requirement time for so many laps to make it to each team and I made varsity. I swim the 500. Um, I'm not a sprinter so distance is my thing so, so I like distance and I like the 100 back. Um, um, I don't know why I like that one, but I always get put into that one. Our team's greatest strengths are when like someone's um, swimming a race, we like all cheer for them and like we're always like helping each other out. Like we're always cheering for each other no matter what. Like you'll see other teams doing that too, but I think we just have such a strong connection together. Like we're always like there for each other. I'm in the 200 individual medley and I'm in 100 backstroke. And I've been swimming the IM since I was about seven years old, but it was then it was the 100 IM, and now it's the 200 IM. When like you turn like seven, I think. And um, I've been swimming that event for just like such a long time, and like it's one of the hardest events because like it's all of the strokes combined, and you have to be like really like talented in all of them. And so I swim that, and then the 100 backstroke. I've been swimming since my freshman year too, and. Hopefully, like, oh, like, I've been getting better since, like, I never used to kick my legs, but, like, now I'm starting to kick, like, some more and more, and, like, I'm getting, like, my times are, like, dropping, and it's just a lot funner now since, like, I'm improving. Swimming's been just a part of my life since I was really little. It's been um, just something I've been really good at for my whole life, and I've just stuck with it and gotten better. I'm in the 500 free um, just because um, freshman year I started out as a sprinter, but I didn't really improve as much, whereas 500, I feel like it gives me more time to improve throughout the race because it's such a long race. And then I also swim the 100 breaststroke, and that just um, recently became one of my strokes since last year. I'm a sprinter. I do the 50 and the 100 free, and I like them because they're just fun. I started last year, and I knew nothing about swimming. And this year, I'm the captain, so it's possible to do anything, and it's really fun. And if you try hard enough, you can do anything you want. If they focus on swimming, it can transition over to school as well by staying focused, keeping their grades up, uh, and just being an overall well-rounded individual with academics and sports and get a good mix of both. Coach Rothstein, he's been my coach since, um, since my freshman year. And he's one of the greatest like, coaches you will ever meet in your life. And he's so dedicated to what he does. For the girl coaches, we have Sharice Nunez, and that's the girl coach. Um, she's awesome. And this is her third year um, coaching. And then we have a girl assistant coach, Sarah Haywood, and this is our first year of having an assistant girls. And then for the guys, our head coach is uh, Ross Dean. Um, and he's been teaching for uh, coaching for 16, 18 years. And then we have Tony Bohr, and he's the boys' assistant coach, and this is his first year. I coach because I enjoy it. It's something fun for me to do. Uh, I feel like I can pass on the little bit that I know, uh, hopefully help improve some of the other swimmers' times and make them hope that they have uh, fun in the sport that I had fun doing too.